And these guys are going to get in. So here we go, boys and girls. Albion TV grand finale. Our first match is going to get underway as we go into the Crystal Realm. The overcharge begins. We get to check out the gear. 8-3. 8-3 being deployed in level 8 straight up on Cargera. Oh, eight, and these guys are going against three. Mamano's team. This is even, going to be a good matchup. Even the Judy on Cargera. And this isn't the level 9 IP cap. This is going to be an absolute belter of a match. <laughs> oh. We got a nice one here. This should be a good back and forth match. These are two very skilled teams, two of the they're, top picks. I think they're I think they're full eight three for this match, not messing around. And I think this is probably the the deal that secured it. And they are going for their cheeky little play that we've seen before. Cargera, though, actually respected the opposition quite a lot. They got their back Wow! The cap got cancelled. They they cancelled the cap on the mid. And this could be a problem. Cargera can now create the sp Oh, they get it. They get the stun onto Cargera. He wasn't able to go in. So the early play. Momono's going to get isolated from his team, though. And Derek's probably just going to finish him here. The healer is not coming. Momono knows he's not getting saved. The healer is miles away. Momono's going to get dropped right now. Dungeon Realm's getting driven back. Chicken trying to make the purity plays. Cargera, though, he wants some more kills here because it looks like... Chicken's team is rocking some sexy gear as well. So they're definitely going to want a few more kills here. It was a one cap each. So no early rotation. But this is going to go into a two to nothing. Ten point rotation in favor of Cargera. And the last season of Valon. Shout out to Mamon and the boys still playing for their actual guild. Even at the end of the season. Yeah, one of the few left that are doing wow, it. Wow, Cargera's going to play for the interrupt onto Aram. Aram's got to be very careful here. Boda and Ara, Boda and Cargera have got Aram's isolated heavily from his healer, and I don't know what is going on with this Elevate team right now, mm -hmm. but they they are not playing like the team we've seen this season. They are... They're, bit, they're allowing this Money Guild team to just bully them right now, bosh them around, and I expect to see them... Have a little word with themselves, check themselves before they wreck themselves and get back into this. This is not a team that will will bend and fold very easily. But Cargera, look at this. They really are going aggressive. And we might see the Cargera patented play where he goes behind them as they rotate. He's actually gonna they're actually gonna respect these guys. Both these teams are respecting. Obviously, this money guild team is in full eight three, down to the death givers and the Judy armors. So they're not going to go crazy. Uh, I don't know if we could check out the chosen if you get a chance to check out the gear on the elevate team. But Momono, the isolation again, and this here you can see the IP scaling, the mortal agony. They've had to use a lot of saves. Now Cargo is going to get turned around, and the gear, the gear seems to just be making the difference here. The kill pressure onto Momono is outrageous. They're not allowing him to play his game. Chain slash comes in. Momono, that bop, the bop helm scaling at high IP as well. We've talked about this a lot. Momono's going to go down once again. Boda's going to grab the loot. And well, he just lost himself a 7 3 excellent adjudicator. That's rough. And Bunny Team, my oh, nice use of the Holy Blessing. Great swap from Chicken. Most of these Holy Healers are running Sacred Pulse against Cargera and his, his bop till you drop kind of build. Holy Blessing save bunny team's life there but as i said certain things like the bot helms force displacement like the ironclad these things scale quite heavily with ip mm -hmm. so once you hit eight and nines the distance these knockbacks do is kind of crazy you know it's it's a lot harder to play against at high level than it is low level and momono yet another juicy bit of gear coming out and they're gonna have to do something here this there's just they're not even getting anyone in danger scuzz oh this is a nasty catch on scuzz karg might even have to swap him back out momono with his hurricane there needs to be a swap for scuzz right now kargera nice judy placement nice peeling from kargera with that hurricane momono trying to get in the cartwheel goes down auto fire goes out onto boda on the choke collateral onto kargera but dungeon realms doesn't have the health to push in just yet elevate still on the three cap as well they're gonna have to go back they're looking for the cap and kargera might just push the four versus five they can get the pressure out. It looks like Dungeon Realms should get the cap unless Derek has something to say about it with the crossbow. Gets the sweepy bolt off, but just a little bit too late. Now Bunny Team separated from his team, and Bunny Team's just gone. He's oh. just dead. He, he, he just this this A3 gear. A3 gear. Are they A3 gear drop? Well, both sides are using it now. Momono they, is A3 across the board right now with a yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they've 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 scaled it up. They obviously all have their gear in the bank, ready mm -hmm. for the the level nines. But they've scaled it up because they don't want to lose to Derek and they don't want to lose to Derek live on stream. The issue they've got is they're just being deleted so quick. 
then they're not getting a chance, honestly. And <laughs> these guys, they just overcharged their 83 as well. By the way, Cargera's casually just overcharged an 83 Judy armor, which is probably street value 30 mil, 40 mil, maybe. I don't know if they're still that pricey, but this is this is a demolition job and haven't seen any trash talk, which is very surprising between these two teams, I'll be honest. Usually you yeah, I did expect. not expect this to be such a one-sided match. I'm a, a little uh, like it's not well, it's not it's not it's not over yet, but honestly the the speed people are dying is crazy. Yeah, they're just getting eliminated. Like just blown up and done. Bunny team just did not stand a chance there. Yeah, he was he was isolated. He died before he got out of a stun run. Which is very <laughs> unusual. Okay, no. Okay, and that's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Obviously, the stun run is scaled up, so it's going to hit him a little bit harder. He is in cloth, but if Scuzz is if Scuzz is max stacks, they need to. The, the key to this is is stopping Scuzz. Like they have to control him, and I just feel that there's there's not enough control going out. Scuzz is getting his quivers off every time. Boda's chain slash is going crazy. Now they go for the dive onto Shekri. They have switched out to the Claymore. Shekri going to have to blink out right now. Mortal Agony goes out, but Cargera forced to drop the Judy. Cargera going very aggressive with not much health. Gets the Celestial Sphere down. Down comes the Purge. Dungeon Realms could be in a bit of trouble here. He's trying to get the Fury Stacks. Runs the parry onto Scuzz as Shekri gets taken down. But Aram's really low. Can they trade? They might need to swap onto Chicken. They lost their healer. And this is a big problem. Cargera is going to have to rotate. Cargera and Boda have most of the loot from this fight. And usually we don't care about loot. Usually loot is not an issue in these fights, but we are talking hundreds of millions right now. These boys are going to go to 10. And Derek, I think Derek's overweight almost on his, on his Swifty. He's not far off. All four of them do get to 10. Elevate, get one on the board, and they, they found the opening. Dive the healer and get the job done. This is... This is a nice fight so far. We'll have to see if that was a temporary hiccup for Cargera and the game, or if this was uh, the start of a big comeback. And it's four versus five in the high ground, and the Money Guild guys really not ready to, cap to capitalize. They actually went for the bot cap, meaning it ended up a 4v4. And no Derek equals no kill, to be honest. It's, it's his aggression onto squishy targets that secures, secures the kills. These guys even got like the crazy faction capes as well, which gives you a few seconds cooldown reduction. Here comes the sphere, creating the opening now. Cargera just chilling. Bomb goes out onto Boda. Boda may need to resist this. Good use of the dodge roll. Oh, chain slash through the whole team. Boda and Cargera. Scuzz is up there, but he's actually manning up. The charge goes out. He is in the duty. Shekri not able to get controlled by Mamono because of that robe of purity. That's going to help him. Aram pops the cleric robe. And this is a really bad spot right now for Elevate. The auto fire comes out. Chicken has gone down. And there's going to be more kills here. Bunny team is probably not going to make it out. Momono. Momono's got it. is making it. Oh, oh Eric snipes him. Oh, the oh, down. 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 Cargera hoovers up. They get Bunny <laughs> team just in time. Oh, no. You saw Cargera making a beeline for him. Dungeon Realms wants out Dungeon Realms, there, he's going to... Gonna... Oh, he's Scuzz caught! Tries... Oh, he read it like a book. He knew he was going to parry, so he didn't stun run. He swapped him instead. Oh, wow. And then he parried and died. Oh, that was dirty. That was... That is... Ooh. That's oh. that's some high-level shit right there, guys. Thank you, Cargera, for putting on a show. Thank you, boys. Wow. Is... All right, is... so uh, Noob Slayer? 10 to 1 in kills. In good. I mean, I didn't expect to see the 8-3 come out that early, but I can understand it from Derek's team because they desperately wow. needed that win. Are we going over to Noob Slayer 79 yeah. then? Wow, looks like Noob Slayer's in a pretty tight match right now. Two cap advantage, but one man down. I actually know because Focus appeared to be dead as well. So it's the Sun team with Kiki win versus... This native team of Noob Slayer, who is going for the season win. And this is uh, Heavy Smoker. We've seen this before. Degef used to run this build. He's playing dual daggers, right? And when was the last time you saw dual daggers in a GVG? But in high IP, you're about to see some crazy stuff. You're about to see some people get deleted if that combo goes off. Right now, though, the native guys do have the two cap advantage. They're pushing in. Rawbit has to pull back. Kiki going for the choke. And Moraman just 
pounding them with the bow. Focus also playing that uh, pole hammer that we don't see a lot. Noob Slayer on his favorite, the BMS. Heavy Smoker turns up. He comes out of invisibility, and they are ready to pounce, though. That was great from the native. They knew he was coming. They knew that play. It's clear that they've had a few deletions at the hand of these daggers. He's gone in again. He's ready to look for somebody. He's actually going to pop out. Where is he? What is he? Oh, there goes the delete onto Ichiban. And that is the dual daggers. That is his game plan there. I'm going to go check out his build, actually, Heavy Smoker. They're going to need to grab the cap, though, the Sun team, if they want to get through here. And this is this is actually something that they, they did for a while, this dual daggers. Mm -hmm. And I believe, there it goes again. Zent just gets deleted by it, slapped off the face of the planet. They did this for a while, and they deliberately stopped running it, right? It was yeah. good, and they liked it, but they stopped running it because they didn't want people to get used to playing against it. They wanted, I believe they wanted to keep it for later. Um, I have had my ass handed it to me as well, and it's very annoying because the nature healer doesn't survive it sometimes if it's properly executed. And the native guys... They're going to get three capped on right now. They're going to be put onto 61 down to 41 points. So they're going to have a few rotations left. But Zentz is having a hard trouble keeping up with this burst, isn't he? The one shots. I'm going to go check out Heavy Smoker's build real quick. Okay. Because I do want to see which, which version he's running. Uh, so he's running the Assassin Jacket Spectre Hood. He's got two in Viz. And then it's the Tenacity to ramp it up and just one shot someone. He's just very invisible. If you thought it was hard to catch a Death Giver, try catching this guy. But Mortal Agony onto focus. Down goes the auto fire. Judy for the counter Thursday. Tries to stabilize. Celestial Sphere comes down. Noob Slayer, though, good control onto Kiki. Not letting him play his game, but wait for Heavy Smoker to disappear. And Ichiban nearly disappears to Heavy Smoker there. He's being driven back. Good play from Zen. Stabilizing. Heavy Smoker drops low. Thursday gets him back under control. Noob Slayer again trying to boss this front line. Forced to pop his resist. He's on a Limhurst as well, not a Mark Lock. So he needs to be careful with those defensives. And Heavy Smoker, he's ready to go again. And Zenz is just gone. This is filth. This is actually filth. And they have been saving this strat like they were waiting for TI-10, mate. That is, it's going to be an auto fire onto Itchy. Itchy's going to go down as well. That's a 10 point and rail bit. And this one is done and dusted. Noob Slayer. And one of the favored teams for the off season getting taken out by wow. Sun. Wow. I. This is two teams. Just I, I didn't expect these uh, these last two matches to go the way they did. I honestly thought Noob Slayer and his boys would be able to take this one, and I at least thought but like this, the this Elevate is, team would put up a lot more of a fight. This is the power of something you don't expect, though, isn't it? Something something that you you haven't fought all season, and suddenly you know everything you were expecting at a level eight is out the window. You, you don't you're not planning for a specter's hood assassin dual daggers are you ever mm -hmm. no and no like and, you, <laughs> like and he just pops up on one okay so this match is one we haven't seen so we've got bob freeze we've got a full mixed team here with some names we've got exultro the healer fat necks on curse keeper of nature on crossbow so some big names not particularly on their their main roles but they are up against this phenomenal june team which is was then in rang and is now in last one but it doesn't matter where they are they're the same players as we've always seen but crazy things crazy things can happen at these high ip matches everything seems to change the nerves definitely start to set in even for the best teams right now and this is what crystal league was all about building up to these intense season finales where everything's to play for and we know Bob's been tanking all season trying to get here. We know that this these last one guys, they've switched to last one too because last one gave up trying to compete with Blocko. But they definitely still want the points. They want the prestige. And again, it's a team that can go all the way. Do you know what I mean? These, these guys want to win their level nine. They've already qualified for level nine. So this, this is just more of a, a very intense warm up, I would say, or a very expensive warm up. Exultro getting isolated. Bob runs peel. The auto fire comes down the purge, but he's not going to get that last heal off. Bob maybe tries to grab the gear. No, he's going to have to pull Just back. Just going to run, nature. yeah. No hurricane available. Keeper's going to be fine, and the respawn will be quite quick. But losing your healer, that's not what you want. Especially if you're playing an ironclad. You've really got to keep that man safe. 
He's running Sacred Pulse for the knockback. He's got his Purity Robe. Again, we saw a lot of these guys switch into the Purity Robe. Exultro now is on the Druid. So he gets he gets more powerful heals, but he doesn't have that, that self-protection that the Purity Robe offers, that knockback, that CC uh, displacement immunity combo. And of course, we have seen healers actually make offensive plays with the Purity, especially with a kidnap tank like an Ironclad. Watano, there's a nice pierce. Oh, good timing though. He knew Bob was going to go for it. Mm -hmm. And he actually popped the purity at the perfect time and is able to stabilize the fight. Gets himself up. The curse stacks are starting to weigh. Keeper of Nature gets control, pops the mage armor. Beamed eats one pop of the ghost strike right now. It's just everybody feeling each other out. Goof gets knocked back. The resistance though saved him a lot of distance on that knockback. Fat Neck's in a bit of trouble. Bob now zoned out the fight as Goof tries to escape. Chain Slash goes into the Purity, and it looks like Exultro is going to die again. The healer's going to get taken out. Mm -hmm. Bob's going to grab the gear. Uh, Eric will try and control him here, but Bob should be okay. He's not far from the tent. Only, so, I mean, this is different. These guys are running 8 1, 8 2. Yeah, they're not running the same 8 3. Yeah. I mean, I understand why the Derek team came out with. Well, they can. Well. They're also, you know, they when they realized who they were going up against too. You may, you might want to well, put in the little I, extra no, IP on that. Well, I think, I think, like if you're if you're murking out and you're in demand, like those those that team had a lot of offers. The Derek team, right? Mm -hmm. So that was probably part of their conditions. They were like, well, we need eight three gear. Like mm -hmm. if you want us, if you want us to come, we want fat payday and eight three gear to fight in. When you know when people are demanding you when they're desperate to get those points you make your own you make your own conditions and people will <laughs> people will go to them fat next oh nice play from bean good bop there exultro making decent use of that sacred pulse keeper they're actually turning on to eric Wera now again one thing you'll notice at the higher ips is tanks will go down a lot easier because damage scales a lot quicker than the defenses of the armor even though they're wearing beefier armor. Oh, Watano getting zoned out nicely by Bob. And there's Goof. It's a trade, though. Goof for Keeper of Nature, one for one. Uh, and Bob's team is still three cap, though. They're going to eat another 20 tick as the fight continues. Both teams losing a lot of damage here, though. But Carvenon's ready. He's looking for the opening with this heavy crossbow. Can't find anything. Eric gets caught. More lag, and he goes through. And the good thing is they're fighting on their own choke. So Keeper's going to get back to the fight quicker than Goof. But Goof is here. And we get some more 5v5. And the points are just bleeding here for the mixed team. They've got, they've got to win a convincing fight and get back on the board. Or they need to rotate, in my opinion. They can't just keep... They just they can't, can't keep running just, out yeah, the same way over yeah, and over again. they can't just keep dragging out a fight. Because at this point, last one can start, you know, fighting on 4v5 unless they lose their healer. It needs mm -hmm. to be a healer dive, I think, here. Yeah. And the issue is, is the curse. Curse is a value weapon. Curse is a slow burning weapon. It's not a give one person instantly. He's got the armor pierce, which helps. But it's not that big burst of a bow crossbow combo in the back line. Down goes Fatal Blade on the choke. Good control there. Bob trying to get a kidnap opening. Might go for Eric. Eric, nice use of the cartwheel resistances. And now Connie. Player I haven't seen a lot of, actually. Katomi Bro? Don't even know how to pronounce this. Yeah, I, I don't know them. Not familiar with him. But he's here in level eight, so he can't be can't be a bad player, so to speak. He's got a few Celestial tokens, yeah. Celestial Sphere coming down once again for Bob's team, but they've eaten another 20. Of nature and in trouble here. They feel pressure him at all? They're just not making openings. They're getting collateraled on the choke here. And I think they're gonna full rotate. Unless oh, Bob mistimes it. The dodge roll from Carvin and gets him out. He is looking for the hurricane, but Bob's going to get driven back. And it's going to be another 20 tick. And this hasn't been a game of huge kills. There's only been three kills so far in this match. But because it's been a three cap the whole time, Bob's team's just been drained. They're going to eat this one. And yeah, Eric Ware's team is just going to push into them here in the low ground. Not going to let them back into this. Two minutes and this is done. This is This is crazy. Yeah, they've been very successful this match, just pounding the crap out of this poor Sun Mix team. I mean, there's some fat necks, Keeper of Nature. These guys are really good. Bob Freeze. Yeah, and it's actually, I love it when it's a full mix team. Everyone is in a different guild, I think. Oh, no, the, the Healer and the Death Givers are in the same guild, actually. Okay. Well, I love it when it's five different guilds. Mini Golf in there, Native in there. But this is, again, putting a mixed team against a team that's been together for 
three seasons or more, potentially. Fat Nex is going to go down. This is going to go into another 20-point rotation. Not a lot to say here. Keeper should get out of there if Bob's has the Hurricane available. Uh, Katomni, Katomni Zebral is his name. But this is going to be a 20, and they just, they just been bullied out. I don't think I would even overcharge here as Fat Nex because you know they're going to rotate. And right now, at level 8, you just throw bodies at it. You, you don't let them cap. And it's, it's just the end. Watano comes down. Eric comes down. Bob could have potentially capitalized on there. He wouldn't have been able to kidnap Watano, but he could have convinced him to pop his purity like that and potentially set him up for later. Celestial Sphere. Wow, the range on that Sphere. They've actually whiffed it, though. Goof was too far away, and the Sphere gets cancelled, but it just doesn't seem like this Bob Freeze mix team is putting out anywhere near the damage of Eric's team. And this is, this is done and dusted. It's all over in nine minutes a very very quick match that yeah i don't think we expected to see a eight lot of minutes, these in, in the in the level eights but i do I mean, actually have a statement from uh one of the guys here in this goof beaned eric were team. all right we got we're told mint guess my name Meta Matty and fire was taken and uh, we saw these boys have uh, a bit of a rough time for yesterday they had some good matches but was particularly rough and we do have this Uraz, Aliv, Scoliosis, Suriel and a Pollinator team from Black Order right now. Although I believe these are a mercenary outfit on contract. So we'll see how it goes. Both teams actually run in the curse here. And I really like it for the Witold team because they're against the nature. It's a nature versus holy matchup. Of course, the Great Curse able to purge nature stacks is a huge advantage Suriel with the mortal agony but mint with that sword she's able to drive him back a pollinator pops the resist matty coming forward it's the one hand crossbow being used no crossbow on the black order team it's bow curse versus crossbow curse and as i said the nature but Suriel getting the kill on to guess my name just off screen there now fire is completely zoned out by a pollinator nobody's getting any help here fire is long gone we're told Good use of the swap there. They might look for the turnaround play if there's an overcommitment. Diving for kills. Four-man armor pierce from Alibs there. Beautiful, beautiful armor pierce. No follow-up, but enough to dissuade any turnaround. Now, I guess my name. Coming back to the match. We're told. Going to need to do something. Well, there's only a two-cap. I believe somebody is off for the third, which means they have a choice now. They either push us 4v4 or they wait for their fifth. I think they probably should have pushed while they had the opportunity to breach the high ground and then mint could have joined later but now they've got the the awkward task of pushing in without getting max curse stacks and shot in the face with a bow as they push surreal going on the offensive with the death givers we're told he's just trying to zone out scoliosis he's got that forceful swing which is great against the bow mm -hmm. but look how Absolutely. scoliosis just dragged him away from the fight and was like, okay, you might force on me, but you're going to be miles from everything. And you took him out of the forward. fight. He's as good as dead. He's not there. Evasive jump there. And it's the, again, this is the problem. It's the Assassin's Hood build for Scoliosis. So purging his quiver is just not that effective. The forceful swing's really going to have to be on point. Purge the first quiver, swing the second, and just make sure that Fatal Blade goes on somebody else. The problem is a curse doesn't really care about Fatal Blade because the damage keeps on ticking after. Alives gets taken down, though. Good forward pressure here. Mint needs to be careful he doesn't become the counter kill. We're told. Cartwheeling in. They're looking for more. Pollinate is actually very, very low. The seed comes down. Refreshing Breeze is going to keep them all alive. And I think they're just going to go for caps here. So a, a pretty even opening. Probably the most even opening we've seen so far. Yeah, back and forth. 33 to 34. Mint, though, caught in a horrible spot. Fire will be able to sort him out. And it's a two cap. For some reason, the... Uh, Magneteria. Is this, is this uh, another Merc contract, potentially? I've seen this name a few times. New Guild or Merc contract, who knows? But these guys were looking to play in the low ground. They didn't actually have the cap. And this is, this is an even harder one to push the high ground. Because this Great Curse, you know, you can pre-hot to get everybody in. But the Great Curse just removes your hots as you push up. And that is going to be a massive issue for the Black Order team right now. Witold's team has a huge advantage if they don't misplay or create an opening. They've just got to be super patient and look for those easy picks. Guess my name. Forced to roll. Rolls 
into the area of decay, takes some extra damage. Fire was taken though, pops the purity. Celestial Sphere goes down as well. Pollinate are actually creating a lot of space for his team and they are, they've got a nice opening here. Mint's in a lot of trouble. Ghost Strike, Mortal Agony, Ghost Strike, gonna finish the job. And that was without Scoliosis actually getting up the high ground. He did all the damage from the low ground and it was positional errors from Magnetaria, giving that bow value when he shouldn't have had any. We're told now in a bit of trouble. He's actually going to throw the Fatal Blade. He is zoned out massively Completely from his team. From the rest of his Alan team. He's going to be okay, though. I think is he, he going to be okay? Fire's, fire's there spamming the heels. They need to turn and help Fire now. Judy goes down. Celestial Sphere is going to get dropped. And now they might look for a big turn. This is a good opportunity, but they're all clumped on the choke. They need to get in there. Mint needs to make this... This carving, get the big opening. Like they've got armor pierce carving, so much damage. If they can sync up those two pierces, they can actually run through people. But they just don't seem to have that synergy. Right now, look at the energy. The pollinator's low. Suriel's low on energy. Scoliosis is starting to get there. There's definitely options here for this Magnetaria team, but they just they're not finding a way. The stalker jacket goes down. Down goes the tenacity as well. Now the healing's gonna be a big problem for Black Order. And Alevs needs to be careful. The block comes out. Witold's trying to get on top of him. But we already know Witold is running that forceful swing as well. Doesn't have that stun run for the kidnap and kill. Mint needs to get back. He's got the sword stacks. He should be okay. Iron Will saving him for a while. Air of Decay goes down, but a bit of a misplay there from Guess My Name. He gets swapped in. He rolls out. There's the one, two. The pierce comes out. Shred from the bow. Fire, though. That spammer jammer build. If he's not contested, he can just do so much healing. It's unbelievable. Like, it's so hard to kill somebody that's getting spammed on by a spammer jammer. Nice forceful swing. Good momentum here. But Min and Witold, they're on their own. Well, they need their backup. Witold, Celestial Sphere goes down. Fire using that purity as well to deny the choke. There goes good armor pierce. They're looking for Scoliosis now. I don't know who they're going to. They're just The damage is so spread. They've got a really good synchronized combo with three armor shreds and they're not sinking on any targets. Collateral onto a Pollinator and Suriel. Some big damage goes out as well as the tenacity. Suriel going to try and go strike himself to safety. Mint, can he get the finish onto a Pollinator? If he has the fearless strike, he could. Looks like Scoliosis is going to be the one though. They get the kidnap, the bop comes out and there's the kill. So they're back on the board. Magnetaria making a show of this. It's going to be a really nice timing as well for the three cap. And this is going to push the fight past the 100 points, which of course means whatever happens now, this team will get some rewards from their fight. Now, here's here's the thing, Chosen. Do they play low ground or do they, they try and capitalize on stripping the hots in the choke? Personally, I think, I think you stay high here. Well, yeah, if you're... If you're ahead like this, you want to keep your advantage. Don't go to the glow ground if you're not down there and have a specific build that's good at it. Or, well, they do have the three caps, and the timing was a little funny. If they had, say, like 15 less seconds on the rotation, I would have said go down and take the low ground. But with so much time on the rotation, I think it's better to just stay high ground and play it safe. They really need to not let Scoliosis get any value from the low ground, though. He has to, they have to, like, force him up the choke. We're told he's playing forceful swing as well. Like, that's a big deal. Like, if he's not hitting Scoliosis, the force of swing is more or less useless. I mean, he can, in theory, stop a Pollinator stun run. Wow, nice shred. Good damage comes out. The sacrifice has to be used onto a Pollinator. And this is very, very back and forth. But Magnetaria, again, they just seem to be taking a lot of damage that they don't need to. Meta Matty, Scoliosis was able to land a full ray of light combo onto a clothy from the low ground. Alibs, he has to block to get out of there. Suriel gets bombed. Mint looks to push. The ray of light from Scoliosis gets missed. Mortal Agony onto Mint. But no follow-up with the Ghost Strike. Suriel not in a catch. Another ray of light miss. And this is really costing them. There's so much value in that ray of light. If they can root a kill target on the choke, they could do some work. And this means Area of Decay will now be ready to rock again. Suriel, he gets pierced. He dodge rolls out. Four stacks onto a Pollinate. Another ray of light miss. What is going on from this Black Order bow right now? It's he needs to he needs to land these. This is not a level where you can miss three ray of lights in a row. <clears throat> At this point, explosive arrow would be better. 
Auto fire goes out onto a pollinator. Surreal, four stacks. Nice fearless strike through the whole lot. Insta purge on the stalker jacket, though. Mint was causing huge amounts of pressure. But they're just not able to connect. Oh. Scoliosis, he's in a bit of trouble again. A pollinator yep. peeling with the hurricane. Be... Down goes the purge. Ray of light this time onto two. Stops the follow up. Scoliosis redeems himself with that one. Another armor pierce onto a pollinator. Fatal blade on the choke. It's going to be a two cap. Goes into a three. Bad timing on the rotation. I was going to say, yeah. they have, they they should, this is where they should go to the south and go to the low ground and contest it because with this timing of only 30 seconds, they only have to do one interruption really to secure the 20 points. The problem and is, it's it's ray, it's ray of light mm -hmm. and an ironclad. It's very, yeah, very hard to contest that cap. Yeah. I think I think I think they play to their strengths and they're, they're playing a lot deeper this time, forcing Scoliosis up the choke with the bow. Ray of light goes down onto Matty. Mint coming out with the stacks. Nice combo. The fire's going to be able to stabilize it. He does use the purging shield as well. The pierce goes out on to Suriel. A pollinator comes in. Hurricane onto Witold. He gets zoned out now, but he's very, very tanky and they're just not able. A curse just doesn't have that same kill potential on a tank as a crossbow bow combo. Mm hmm. It's going to be very, very difficult to get this done. Mint, there's the Stalker. Not purged this time. No purging shield for Alibs, and Mint is going to town on him. They need to do something to save this man. After the block, the Fearless Strike could come out. The nature damage is not coming. The nature healing not able to sustain. Can he get the Fearless Strike through them? Yuraz caught in the corner. We're told there. Look how low they all are right now. But nobody is dying. Yuraz is healing out of his mind. The breeze comes down. And they've pulled him back. Like, this is... Guess my name had so much opportunity to be aggressive there. They were on the back foot, and it's so hard to stabilize. These tenacities coming down as well. It's just crazy, crazy. And they actually get the turnaround onto Whittle. They get the kidnap and kill. And Black Order going to be coming on the front foot now. They're going to eat another 10 tick. So the points are starting to get bad, but Mint is going to die as well, I imagine. And they should get fire. Oh, good sacred pulse from fire. Good counter pressure. I think these boys actually might get out of here. That was very, yeah. very nice play, though, from Black Order. They weathered the storm. Yuraz healing like an absolute madman and was able to just keep them at bay. And they found a turnaround. Whittle just got too aggressive without his team. Mm -hmm. And that really should have been a wipe. Like, they should have just finished that one off. I feel like, personally, their DPS maybe didn't go aggressive enough there. Who knows? But we're back on Witold. 6 3 Could masterpiece. Just a good defensive play there. He had the space to get there and just, he needed to keep those curse stacks going. There were guys at four stacks, and if they keep them at four stacks, they just can't outheal that with nature. It's just, it's just not in the playbook. And oh, look at that though. Air of Decay, Armor Pierce, Sickle, half health on Guess, one third off Mint, and stacks on everybody already. Ray of Light as well on Mint. And this is that choke point punish that we used to see from the high ground. And it looks like now Black Order want to play a three-point squeeze and just try and shut this one out. Purge goes on to Scoliosis. Whittle taking a lot of damage at the front, though. Taking the curse stacks. He's going to get zoned back. Alev's in trouble. Yuraz is really disciplined play. Yuraz was right there with the sacrifice, and he just didn't want to use the sacrifice. Held off from it. Let the seed pop, and that was really disciplined play. Fire was taken, though. Suriel finds the double ghost strike. Execute. This is a three cap. They might get Whittold. Whittold swaps Matty into it. I really hope Matty survives now. Otherwise, that was a really, <laughs> really ratty play. Matty, run. Oh <laughs> run, Matty, run. That was run, that, boy, run. That was nearly very, very ice cold from Whittold there. Swapping his clothy in to save himself. He got out just about. Currently have a, a number of teams registered. It looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, six teams registered so far. There might be scrimming going on though. I imagine people are scrimming, ready for this level nine action. I'm excited. And then of course it's non-stop. I, as soon as this stream finishes, I'm going straight to bed. And then I'm mm -hmm. up early to catch my flight to Berlin to get to the sandbox offices tomorrow. This this is gonna be a mad week. We've got the the expansion dropping on Wednesday. I get to hang out with all the team. 
it's going to be a cool one, but it's, it's hectic right now, as is this match, 52 to 57. Probably one of the closest matches we've seen, but you can't help but feel all the momentum is with Black Order. Something just seems to have clicked with them. And Magnetaria, they're just, I don't know, they, they're just not synergizing right now. We said they have the, all of these armor shreds that could combine to just delete someone. And I just mm -hmm. haven't seen them sync it up. And too much damage is going into a pollinator. You know, if you want to kill a tank, you need to run bow crossbow. You need to run something explosive. The curse just doesn't doesn't do it for killing tanks at this level. They've got a lot of health. And this is more of a slow burn. Witold's going to pop back. It's another three caps gone against them. They're down to 32. They've got one minute 30 to make something happen in this match. Right now, Matty goes down. Suriel finds him. On the choke point, no peel available. Guess my name's out of energy. And this one's just done and dusted, Chosen. Like, how where, how do they come back? They're eating a 20 right now, unless Black Order completely whiff and allow them this cap. There's not Al Alevs and Scoliosis are already there. The rest of the team isn't far off. They're going to eat the 20 regardless. Alevs doesn't even need to interrupt this. It's not even worth the risk of interrupting because you win next rotation regardless. Because it was a 20 into a 10. He should be okay. I hope he's okay. Mint, nice route now. Scoliosis, he's clicking for sure. After whiffing three rays in a row, he's hitting everything right now. Clutching it all. We're told he's trying to push up, but he's already at four stacks. Gets ruined in the choke. Yuraz, great deletion. And this could be the opening, but we're told gets traded. However, it means no healer. They need to drop Mint right now. Fire was taken. He gets pinned in the corner. Scoliosis, though, doesn't have a healer. Mint knows he doesn't have a healer. Matty gets the kill. But Black Order now. Suriel and Apollinator just need to suicide for it. Mint should kill Scoliosis if he has the charge available. There's the kill. It's going to grab the gear, but it's going to be too little too late. This could have been an insane comeback. But the problem is with those last rotation plays, the enemy team just has to body block you for enough time to see this one out. And it's a cruel defeat, a valiant effort, and a 7-5 scoreline. Very close match.